Let's get some more analysis now on what we've heard from that briefing from energy expert Chris Yellen, who joins us virtually from Johannesburg. Chris, thanks for your time this morning. As always, to quote uh, the electricity minister, the problem is principally on the generation side. And another quote, some of these interventions are working, and that's an important message. Is he right? We haven't had a sniff of a stage five or six for a while. Are these interventions working? How are you reading the situation from this latest briefing? Yes, I, I think uh, the minister was quite upbeat. Um, it is the one-year anniversary of the president's um, emergency plan, and the minister believes that, and I think he's right, uh, that progress is being made. And this is starting, uh, still early days yet, but it's starting to show results. He really did acknowledge the uh, teamwork uh, that is taking place um, between uh, government, uh, ESCOM, uh, the private sector and business in particular. Uh, and uh, he, he sort of indicated that there is this symbiotic relationship uh, between uh, business and government in the sense that it is really important for business uh, that uh, ESCOM gets on top of this. And so they are more than prepared uh, to come to the table and help. And um, he certainly expressed his appreciation for, for that kind of uh, teamwork And yes, there is progress, and we, you and I and everybody can feel it in the reduced intensity mm. of load shedding. And, and he indicated that this was one of the major achievements uh, that they've achieved in this last year, uh, a few months. Uh, they haven't yet achieved a reduction in the frequency mm. of load shedding. We are still experiencing daily load shedding. Mm. And he acknowledged that there's more work to be done in this regard, but I think we must give credit where it's due that the intensity of load shedding has decreased as a result of better plant performance. As a result, uh, this has given Eskom some space to do increased maintenance, and that will pay off in future as well. Um, uh, you got a shout out in that press briefing as well, a question that you, you put to uh, both the electricity minister and Rudy Dix, the head of the project management in the presidency. Uh, it was a bit vague. We couldn't really hear so clearly what your question was. Tell us what you asked and what the answer was and if you were happy with that, Chris. Yeah, look, I, I was generally uh, happy with uh, the answers uh, to, to, to my questions. Um, I, I posed a number of questions, actually. Uh, and um, and I got, I think, uh, um, uh, realistic answers, although several of them were um, that they would follow up, um, you know, in the next uh, meeting. So, for example, um, the licensing of the new transmission company mm. um, is in the hands of NERSA, the regulator, and we haven't got any specific news on that yet, or he didn't have. Uh, other than to say that they're hoping that that license would be issued by the, the, the end of July. Um, there were other questions, um, or, or, you know, asked about uh, the negotiations with car powership in respect mm. of uh, those projects, the three uh, projects uh, in Saldana, uh, Richards Bay uh, and, and Kucha. And again, the answer was uh, a little bit vague. Uh, in that they couldn't give the answers yet, um, but they are in negotiations with Car Powership to reduce the term of the contract from 20 years to about five years. Um, and, and, and so, and, and then also uh, the question that was clearly answered was that the progress on the 100 megawatts um, from Mozambique uh, building up to 600 megawatts uh, is, um, uh, you know, in, in, is being worked on uh, with ESCOM. Uh, and that the 100 megawatts, the first 100 megawatts would come from a car power ship moored in the Maputo Harbor area running on heavy fuel oil, which is somewhat concerning because this is a very dangerous and polluting uh, fuel. Uh, but um, I guess the crisis in terms of uh, needs for electricity uh, seem to override the uh, environment. Unfortunately, the environment always becomes the sacrificial lamb. Mm. And we've seen that at Kusili too, uh, whether environment is sacrificed uh, for the uh, greater good of energy security. Okay, Chris, sadly, we're going to have to leave it there. I'm sure we'll get a chance to unpack some more with you. We do have to go to another live event. Chris uh, Yelland, energy expert there, giving us his first thoughts post uh, the latest briefing from um, uh, Minister Jose Enzo Ramakopo.